Browning shooter Sam Green is the new Essex Gun Masters champion, and he's over the moon. It's the biggest on the calendar, yeah. Um, obviously, the World Championships and things like that, there's a lot more of a title to the World Championships, but this is always one that big every clay shooter wants to win. Um, two and a half thousand people going through over nine days. It's a huge competition. Um, so, yeah, and the reputation that John's got for setting targets that look so easy, but the trickery, the angles, um, like they've all done a fantastic job. It's the second year that I've won it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really, over, really over the moon, happy to have won it again. Typically, the Essex Masters kicks off the clay season, bringing over two and a half thousand shooters out of hibernation. But the last two years have been different. Here's ground owner Martin Honnable. Everybody's been a bit out of kilter <laughs> with the pandemic, but no, we're back to normal again. A lot of people say it's the first big shoot of the season. You know, they come back from their game shooting and get back into their clays. We've been very, very fortunate with the weather. Um, the rain stayed away. Um, and this time of year, everything's looking good. It's looking very spring-like. A lot of green leaf on the tree absorbing the noise. So, and, and it's changed a little bit. That we've built the lake down the bottom end, which is another feature. You know, people are walking around the lake telling us how lovely it looks down there. But yeah, no, it's been a great event. One shooter who's delighted to be out competing again is Scott Shuckford. It's been two years of not a lot of competition, so it's nice, nice now to get out and, uh, and, and do a bit of competing and see everybody out on the circuit. And uh, I think there's plenty of names on the board, so it looks like they've had uh, a fair few entries this week, which is good for them. 200 targets is a lot to shoot in a few hours, so how does Scott keep his performance up through the day? Yeah, it can be quite taxing. Um, I think we've been we've gone through quite a lot of chocolate in our squad this uh, today. But yeah, if, as long as you I think as long as you eat as you're going round the bits and pieces and just keep your energy up, you're, you're all right. But it can be quite taxing, and uh, we've been lucky with the weather, and I think they have all week as well. So it's been been good weather, and but it, yeah, it can be it can be pretty bad if it's raining, and that it can be pretty hard work, but. That's been good, very good shoot and uh, enjoyed it. Neville Jay of Essex Gun was one of the founders of this shoot more than 20 years ago, and he's sponsored it ever since. You've got two 13 stand courses, so you shoot 26 stands over a day, which is the thing that catches a fair few people out. It's, you get tired come the end of the day. Um, we have a black course and a red course. Um, Generally, they're fairly similar. This year, the red course has definitely turned out a little bit tougher than the black. Um, uh, not everyone's found it that way, but the majority have. We have stand 13, where you only get four targets on each of the courses, and they are fairly extreme targets, or at least one of the two of them is. So, uh, everybody seems to like it. They keep coming back year on year, so we must be doing something for that. Even George Digweed, fresh from winning the World Sporting Championships in Texas, came unstuck on the red course. Yeah, I shot OK coming up uh, until I got into this back stretch of two or three stands here, uh, and I let it slip towards the end. Um, yeah, just, just, it's, uh, it's one of those things I was right in contention with, uh, well, literally uh, two stands to go, and I've just, Missed five on the last two stands. Finished one eight seven. Um, I think someone will have to go well to beat one nine one, but it is there. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's certainly a good shoot. At the other end of the scale, 17 year old Harry Jude from Suffolk is just starting out on his competitive career. Yeah, this is my first uh, proper major one, first 200 birder, first competition ever I was shot. Out of 100, I shot about 37, I think, something like that. So, yeah, obviously from there, it weren't too many years ago, but from there I sort of picked it up and got my head down, put the practice hours and the work in to get sort of where I'm getting to now. And, um, yeah, I'm just uh, excited to what the sort of future brings, really. I've got a Brown and 325. I've, I've got a pair of these, um, over 30-year-old. Um, both only 28 inch barrels, but I've got these extended chokes in the end of them. Shoot us on everything, game, pigeons, clays, everything. Um, grade six wood and yeah, shooting really well with it. So um, 
Yeah, I'm happy with that, so I shan't be selling it any time soon. My main person who sort of backs me is my dad, because my dad used to shoot for England. I started on the black horse first. Um, shot 72 on there, so it was a bit steady. I sort of had a slow start, but got on well on the harder stands, and then shot the red horse after, and I shot 81 on there, so I think in total I shot about a 153 or something like that. So, yeah, I was quite happy with my score, really, and considering that was my first 200 birder, so... Yeah, I was quite happy with my shooting, really. Another loyal Browning user is Major Sean Buckley, who's brought a squad from the Army's Royal Engineers clay shooting team. I'm from Colchester myself, so quite quite lucky to live locally. Um, and uh, went to see Mr Radcliffe in Colchester and um, didn't really know anything about shooting. He took me down to his range. Uh, I shot with this. It's, I think it's a game gun, a B, B125 Browning. Um, I love it. Some people say it's 28 inches a bit too short for uh, sporting, but... It's the gun I started with and it's probably the gun I'll finish with as well. When I first got into shooting with the, the Army um, in their league, there was no Royal Engineer clay target shooting. And so um, along with myself and a couple of the other people that have been shooting with me today, we founded the club, but we had to prove ourselves before we could get core status. We started with three of us. We've now got over 65 members in the club. So we've got uh, five people going to the CPSA Championships at High Lodge. And then I think we're going to do the Austin uh, the Austin shoot as well. Whatever people are interested in, really. I mean, I let the lads, you know, we try and do a couple of the, the northern shoots as well because obviously the Royal Engineers are everywhere, uh, which is actually our motto. The Army team run a, uh, an inter-core championships at Barbary Shooting School. That's normally in October and we'll attend that. Um, we ourselves are going to, to uh, do a shooting camp prior to that. Um, so the lads are ready for that and then after that there's the army team selection shoot so hopefully this season's shooting will set them in good stead to join the army team as well. As the last squads finish up, Sam Green keeps an eye on the scores. But he's no need to worry, the win is in the bag. So I shot on Wednesday, um, didn't start brilliantly, shot uh, 92 on the red course. The red course shot a lot harder. Um, throughout the nine days, um, I shot 92 on there, missed some real silly ones, looked at the board, um, see that Mark Windsor had got a one, big 191 on the board, knowing having to go out and perform and put a 100 straight or a 99 in was a lot of pressure, managed to put in the big 99, uh, which sort of joined me with Mark, unfortunately Mark couldn't make it back for the shoot off, um, but I'm sure our paths will cross somewhere again, but um, yeah, so led me to the win, basically. I've been sponsored by Browning for a long, long time now. Um, I've actually just... I'm now shooting the, uh, the Ultra, the Crown. Um, I've had it, I think, five, six months now. Um, it seems to be working, so I'm happy with it. Um, and to win it with a gun that's only been out a year, so it's the first sort of big competition that the Crown has ever won. So to be able to do that and sort of put your name on it is, yeah, it's fantastic, brilliant.